movement isn't always like progress. I remember that would stress me the fuck out. I used to be like, oh, what am I doing? Like I should, I don't know, like can I do something? And then look back at me now and be like, oh, she did it because you're so passionate about something that you're like. Welcome to the queendom. You know, you built your fitness business, you have a beautiful partner and a stepson. Like, did you see all of this coming? Were you like, fuck, I didn't know this was going to be happening in my life? <laughs> I, I've i always wanted, um, like what we are just talking about before, I've, we are very, like, what's the word? Um, constantly needing yeah. movement, change, progression, like constantly needing tasks to fulfill us. And... I've always been like that. I've never been one to just be able to sit down and do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I've never, even if I would, when I was, you know, younger and all our mates would hang out, would kind of just sit on the lounge and just be on our phones. I remember that would stress me the fuck out. I used to be like, oh, what am I doing? Like, I should, I don't know, like, can I go do something? Anything, just I'll fold something and I'll start to actually just clean my friend's houses because I'm someone who, just constantly needs something to be working towards or to doing something. And I don't like wasting time, but I've been able to understand that movement isn't always like progress. So I used to try to keep myself occupied all the time. And I have definitely learned to slow down and start to move with more of a purpose. And yeah, like I've, I've always wanted to own my own business and have a family. And it is, it's great, it's stressful. It is so stressful and you have to be prepared for that. But it is, it's great. And it's everything that I have ever wanted. I have um, been thrown a few business hurdles within the past two years, I would say. There's been a project that we've been working on for two years and it's probably been the most stressful experience of my entire life. And I'm so excited to be out of it, right? And then look back at me now and be like, oh, she did it but I'm still going through it and that's just a part of business are you allowed to share what that is have you shared about it no I haven't I haven't it is it's to do with fitness it's to do with health and me and my partner are actually working on it um and we are dealing with developers and it's just been all over the place and we actually lost a lot of money because of like development development side and just being fucked around really so we've been really scared to make the next step but it's something that I, I literally said to my partner last night I was like I don't have a plan B because I don't want one yeah this plan A is what's gonna happen and it's at a point where it's like if I cannot achieve this I'm gonna do something completely different I'm gonna become a fucking interior designer job like that's at the point it is that's how passionate I am about this certain project and because he was he was like what if this happens what if this happens like what's our plan b and I just said we don't have one nope <laughs> we do not have a plan b we have plan a and if plan a isn't working like this then we'll do plan a like this and that's something that I've always been like I kind of get very passionate about something and I've just learned to make it fucking work Hey guys, real quick, have you ever been stressed out or stuck on a problem you just can't seem to figure out and then a friend or a mentor comes along with like a fresh perspective and shows you a solution that completely changes the game for you? I'm smiling right now as I say this because I know I've had a ton of these moments while building my businesses and remembering back to all the people I have been helped by, which gets me so excited. So I want to pass on the information here and give you guys a favour to build this queendom community. You know, whatever platform you are listening on, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and tune in every Wednesday because you just never know when you will hear that special something that completely changes the game for you. And when it happens, make sure you leave behind five stars so we know our efforts are making an impact. I love you guys. Let's get back into it. I find that that could be, my partner's the same, by the way, and there's always... Uh, you know, if this doesn't work, let's do something else. And maybe you and I are so similar in that sense where when we do move with purpose and when we set our mind to that one thing, it's like, guys, 
watch out because I'm not going to let anything back down from me achieving what I really want. So you've always had this driving force within you. Did you ever get pulled aside by someone that ever like noticed that about you? Because I think it's a power. It's have. definitely, definitely is a power. Um, I've definitely been told that it's not a good trait many times. And so that can be really hard um, in the sense where people people make it out that you're someone who just, you're so narrow-minded where you're not open for other opportunities or you don't like to listen to people. But it's hard when you have a passion and you have a feeling and you're so like, this is what I want. And even for my partner, for example, he's someone who he would be like, yeah, but what if this doesn't work? Like he's a, he's a realist. He is a realist. He works in the mines, like he's his own business before as well. And, but he's just a damn right realist. So he'd be like, if this doesn't work, we'll have to do this. And I'm like, no, but this is what I've envisioned. This is what I've manifested. And he's like, yeah, but manifest. He's like, what, what do you mean? He's like, no, it, what if it doesn't work? And I'm like, it will. He's like, how do you know? I'm like, I'm manifesting it. So like, it, yeah, I'm like, I tell him, I have envisioned it. It's on my vision board. <laughs> so I definitely can be like that. And it can be hard when people don't really understand um, that it's you not agreeing with them or you not wanting to listen to their way. Mm -hmm. It's it's because you're so passionate about something that you're like, okay, your way isn't wrong. My way isn't right. There is no wrong and right. This is just what I'm wanting. So we're near at the end of the episode. I know I don't want it to end either. And I love you guys so much for tuning in every week and coming to this journey with me. But the good news is it doesn't have to end here. If you've gotten value from today, I have something really special I want to share with you. Now, most people are very dedicated to learning from podcasts or books, but when it comes to taking the action required to make these ambitions come true, they retreat back to their comfort zone and listen to another podcast. But I know that there is a small group of queens listening right now that are hungry for more. You want complete freedom over how you spend your time and money, and you want to be able to do it from anywhere in the world. I understand you. I was you. And now I have complete freedom over my time, location and money. And I did it all with my social media blueprint. And if you are part of the group that takes action towards your dream life, I have included an exclusive link for you to jump on board below at 50% off. I appreciate you queens all so much. Now let's finish this one with a bang. But I find, and I say this to a lot of my clients and anyone listening, you know, there's there's these one percent of people, and they're the entrepreneurs, and they're the people that like they have a vision and they know within their heart and soul and gut, like while other people may put on a bit of a, you know, it may not work out, or you may be crazy, or hey, like it's all well and good to have these big audacious dreams, but you're the type of person that when it actually fucking happens, you're going to turn around and go like, I just stuck to my intuition and gut. Mm. And so for me, I really want to hear from you what's been moments in your life where your intuition really, like, you stuck to it and it all came about. I think it's, there's been a good balance in I've stuck to it and it hasn't gone the way that I've planned or I've stuck to it and it has worked. There has been a really good balance, but with each opportunity I've grown from or I've learned something from or it was meant to happen. Um, I can't really think of any... Oh, there, yes, I can. So probably when...